Okay, in this segment we're going to look at collisions and Newton's experimental law, which is a way of dealing with collisions where momentum is conserved as it always is, but sometimes kinetic energy or mechanical energy is not conserved. So in general, we know this. Where UA and UB are the speeds of object A and object B before the collision, and we know that that's the total momentum before the collision, and it's equal to the total momentum after the collision, MA, VA, where we're using V to be the speeds after and U to be the speeds before, MB, VB. So this is the conservation of momentum. And it's always true in every circumstance without exception. However, it's not true that kinetic energy was always conserved, so we know that Newton didn't necessarily use the idea of kinetic energy, but he nonetheless did encapsulate it in his work, and so he found that there was a relationship between the relative velocity before and after collision. And he found that by writing down this relationship, he could get a second equation that he could combine with the conservation of momentum in order to solve for the unknown, as we talked about before. If you know the masses of the two objects and you know their speeds before the collision, you cannot solve for their speeds after, in most cases, because there are two unknowns, only one equation. So we need an additional law. So here it is. This is the one that you can use. So before, the relative velocity is ub minus ua, and after, it is VB minus VA. So we could define some new term that is equal to the ratio of these two quantities. So that's what Newton did. So he said, let's define a new thing, E, the coefficient of restitution, which is equal to VREL over URL relative velocities before and after the collision. And typically this number is one for a perfectly elastic collision. And then for collisions in the real world, it's typically somewhere between zero and one. So let's write that out in terms of these expressions here to get our new law called Newton's experimental law. So here it is. Let's write it up here. So therefore, VB minus VA equals minus e ub minus ua. Why the minus sign? The minus sign is because typically the direction of the relative velocity changes between the before and the after. So when we go through some examples, you see why the minus sign is necessary. And so this thing is called law, and this thing here is called the coefficient of restitution.